Hi, and welcome to my Unreal 4 uh, turret tutorial for 4.22.3. Uh, to get started, we are just going to right click, uh, click Blueprint Class, and click Actor, type turret. Um, before I go further, I guess I should mention that this was done in the first person first person uh, shooter project, like with starter content. Um, you can do it without that, but it's going to be easier because I use the first person character blueprint to spawn the turret targets. Okay, so to get started we're going to double click on this, bring it into the window. It's only a bad thing about working with two monitors, sometimes it, it just doesn't want to do what you want it to. Alright, so first things first, click add component. We're going to type static for static mesh. Click on that. And this will be the turret stand. Next we will go back to the default scene route. Do the same thing. Type turret head. And again. Click there. And type turret barrel. Um, you'll see why we aren't parenting these quite yet. Um, if you try to do it too early, the, their scaling will get all messed up. Um, then we'll go back to default scene root. Type scene. And you're looking for a scene component. Click that. We'll name this shoot start. Uh, we'll connect the head to the stand. And the turret barrel to the... Oh, oops, oops, we don't want to do that yet, actually. We're going to do that in a minute. Okay. So go to turret stand, and for the static mesh, type cylinder, or CYL, and you'll get cylinder right there. Click that, and it's going to be pretty big. So what we're going to do is right click, uh, not right click, uh, press R, and then you should have the scaling, and we're going to pull it in, and I'm going to shorten it down a little bit. And then you can play with this later if you really need to, but this should be good for now. So click the head, type cube. Click uh, one meter cube, that's what we're looking for. Pull that up, scale it down. Kind of stick it on the stick like that. And then make sure we're looking here at the x-axis. You want to play with your width and such from there. And pretend this is the front because that'll affect our rotation later. So it's very important that um, you treat this as the front, wherever the x arrow is pointing down here. Yeah, it's not quite as turret like I guess as I want it to be. Shorten it up a little bit, move it back. There you go, it kind of looks like a mailbox. Then we'll click barrel. We'll type CYL again. Click cylinder. And we'll now scale it to. Oops. There we go. A little more thin than I want it. So if you, if you lose track, sometimes it's easier just to click up here. Press W. E to rotate, and as you can see, um, actually this doesn't really matter, I like to, I guess have X point up here, It's it doesn't matter much, because um, the only one that does matter is this, and your shoot start node, uh, make sure those both point forward, I think that's a little small, so we're actually make it a little bit bigger, and there you go, now take your um, turret head, and drag it onto the turret stand and then the barrel to the head and then click on shoot start and we're gonna move that up and move it somewhere in front of the barrel like right there that'll be good and then parent it to the turret barrel and then compile and save um, we're gonna get some other stuff set up here but we are probably not gonna really work on coding them for a while which is okay so click default scene room um, this actually will be used pretty soon. Type sphere. It should be sphere collision. Click that. And name it turret detection sphere. And then we'll add another component. Type particle. Click that. Oops. And we want to parent that to the default scene root, so make sure it's attached. There we go. We're going to name it um, turret smoke. Just make sure, yeah, we go back up here and click this before we add new components, if we need to. 
Let's see, actually, this next one, we'll click turret barrel. We'll click add component. We'll do another particle system. And that'll be named turret flash. And last but not least, we will go to the turret head. Click add component and type point. It should be a point light. Click that. And we're going to name that uh, turret light. Um, we'll compile and save that. There's a turret light. Oh, it's inside the turret. Um, for now, we'll set the intensity to zero, just so it's not really doing anything, because we don't want to play with it yet. And then, yeah, don't set any particles for these yet. Um, for the turret detection sphere, click on that. Set the radius to, let's just say, 800. And compile and save. So now we got all of the basic turret things set up that we'll play with later. Double click, just, uh, click double check in this really quick. Yep, it's pointing forward. Um, so now we're just going to set up our variables on the side. So click uh, create variable twice, and you should have two booleans. The first one, oops, come on. We are going to name can fire, and it, we're going to quickly compile and check the box. If you don't check the box for can fire, this won't work properly. And then click the next one and we'll rename it alert, compile and save. And then for now we're going to create one more variable. We're going to click, name it, and it's going to be a float right here. And we'll rename this one max health. We'll create another and name it health. Um, create another float and name it damage. The next float will be named range. Another one will be turret clamp, just a couple more. Rotation speed is the next one. Um, fire rate. And the last one is turret memory time. And then compile and save. Oops, make this a little bigger. Okay, so the next one, the next variable we're going to set up, just click it again, will be called target class. Um, click the little float thing right here, now the variable type, and we're going to type actor. Uh, hover over actor and look for a class reference. Click that. And next we'll create another variable. And we actually got to go set this up because I forgot to do that, which is okay. Name it target preferences. And just press enter for now. Create one more variable. Well, we have two more variables to create another one. Name it target. Go down to the variable type, and we're going to change it to type actor. But this time we'll just do an object reference and click that. Oops, forgot to press enter. And then create one last variable and name it scan rot for scan rotation. Change the variable type to a rotator. And then compile and save. Um, before we move on, we need to actually create some enumerators for this. So minimize, and then right click in your um, little content folder down here, and then hover over the blueprints down at the bottom, in that bottom little create advanced asset, and look for enumeration. Click that, and we'll name it turret enums. That'll work. And then double click on it, and you should. It's something that kind of looks like this. And the first thing we'll do is just click New. And we're going to click that three more times, so there's four in total. The first one we'll just call Default, which we probably won't use, but it's just a good practice. The next we'll name Fire at Will. Third we'll name Closest First. And the bottom we'll name Farthest First then save. And you'll see how this kind of works later, if you don't know how it works already. Go back to your turret blueprint. Go to your variable, this is called target preferences, and change the type to type enums. And it should say turret enums. Click that. And then compile and save. And now we'll set up all the defaults for these. Your two booleans are fine. Max health we can set to 100. Uh, we don't really need to change health, but if you want to be safe, you can set it to 100. You'll see later on. Uh, damage, we're going to set to 20. 
range. Uh, you might need to make this farther if you need like a bigger map or something, but we're going to set it to 50,000. Turret clamp. Um, we're going to type 80. Rotation speed, we'll do 300. For fire rate, it'll be 0 0.1. And for turret memory time, that'll be 3. And then compile and save. Oh, and target class. For now, we'll just do pawn. Um, if you want your character, I'll bring this in. If you want to use your character to be a test for this, you have to go to your capsule component. And over here, this might make it a little difficult for other things, but, um, and don't worry about this, like, for later. This is just in case I wanted to test it, which I might not. Uh, make sure you set block for visibility under your capsule component. Or if you have an actual mesh, like your third person actor that's not a pair of arms, it should be fine. Okay, oops, we're going to close. Actually, we're not going to close this out. I'm just going to move this out of the way because I need to look at that later. Um, so yeah, compile and save. These don't need to be set. 